Welcome to our deep dive into the fascinating world of web browsers. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question. How does the browser page lifecycle sequence work? Our viewer is curious about the exact steps that occur when a URL is requested and what happens after the server responds. In this video, we'll break down the life cycle into key stages, including rendering, JavaScript loading, and the construction of the document object model, or DOM. Plus, we'll discuss whether these processes are consistent across different browsers, or if they vary. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Let's get started. The browser page lifecycle begins when a URL is requested. The first step is the network request, where the browser sends a request to the server for the desired resource. Once the server responds, the browser receives the HTML document. This is where the rendering process starts. The browser parses the HTML and begins constructing the document object model, or DOM. After the DOM is constructed, the browser applies CSS styles. This includes loading external style sheets and applying CSS rules to the DOM elements. Next, the browser executes JavaScript. This can modify the DOM and CSS OM, which can affect how the page is rendered. JavaScript can be loaded in different ways, such as inline or external scripts. Finally, the browser renders the page. This involves painting the pixels on the screen and applying any CSS filters. Additionally, cookies may be processed at various stages to manage user sessions. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To understand the browser page lifecycle, start by opening a web page in Chrome and accessing the console. Then select the Network tab and refresh the page. Next, explore the Performance tab to see the timeline of events. Refresh again to analyze how resources load over time. Remember, the order of rendering, applying CSS, and running JavaScript depends on their position in the DOM. Inline CSS loads faster than external resources. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Let's explore the browser page lifecycle sequence. First, when you search Google, the browser processes your request. It renders HTML according to the HTML syntax standard, which is quite forgiving of errors. Next, CSS is applied to style the page following the CSS grammar rules. Finally, JavaScript is executed based on the ECMAScript standards, ensuring consistent behavior across browsers. For further insights, check out the Firefox 3D Tilt plugin to visualize web page layers, or use Chrome's Performance tab to analyze page load processes. You can also explore back-end functionalities 
by visiting chrome slash slash net internals to see cached content and other network details. I hope that's found the resolution that you're looking for and you managed to work your way through your issue. Please, if it did help, hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next technical time you need help, have a good one.